Hi everyone, it's Sandy here. I have this adorable, cute mini pocket accordion file folder that I have made and it is just so cute. It's a great little uh, gift to give to one of your crafty friends or if you are in a craft swap group, this is a perfect little gift to uh, give to one of your swap partners. It's also a great little uh, loaded, I guess you can also insert some loaded goodies in here for Happy Mail as well. So this is how it looks like. It is just so cute. And it has like an accordion um, expandable um, fold on, on the side. And it measures approximately four and a quarter by about uh, two, and a, uh, two and a half to two and three quarter in height, roughly about that height. And then I've got a Velcro to keep the closure closed. And on the inside are some little file tab note card inserts that I've got in here. And then I've also labeled them all so you know what's inside. It is just so cute. And these um, file tab inserts, I use the We Are Memory Keepers mini envelope punch board to um, make them. I'm also going to show you guys how you can make one of these cute little um, little uh, mini pocket accordion file folders. And it only uses half a sheet of a 12 by 12 paper. So you can actually get uh, two of these uh, accordion file folders um, out of one piece of 12 by 12. So I'm just going to show you on what's on the inside and how it looks when there's nothing in there and then we'll um, go ahead and make one as well. So inside here I've added uh, some embellishments that I've just uh, packaged in some seal plastic and then I just ad adhered it with some double sided tape to the back of the uh, file tab insert and these are just some alphabet stickers that I've I've got and I've just put the word fun on that one and then the next one here I've got the word clips and I made some altar clips on to um, adhere or to attach to these file tab inserts as well so these are great little gifts as well to um, give to your crafty partner as well so you can add those to your um, file tabs and this is just a crepe paper flower uh, that I've made uh, using a flower die and then there's another pocket in the middle and I've made another file tab using some vellum and I've got a mini envelope in here as well where you, I could probably put a note in there or some more goodies so there, it still has does hold a few things. Then I've also made a mini memory decks a file tab insert as well. And then you can just um, place that on your memory decks file as well. And that's just an embellished one. And then I've got some washi. I've even put the word washi on there as well with some washi sample. And then I've lastly made a, a folded a file folder where I could just write a note and I've even put the word note on there uh, as well so that's what I've put inside the um, accordion file folder and that's what the inside looks like so you get a front pocket there a middle pocket and another pocket and I'm going to show you how you can make one of these it's very very easy I'll just put these back in here. Um, so you still can hold a few things. You can add um, other gifts in here as well. You don't have to add these um, uh, sort of things in here. But um, I think you can probably put a gift card in there as well if you wanted to. If I'm not sure if it will fit. Now let me just see. Got a gift card here. I think it might fit a gift card. It does too. You can even fit a gift card in there. So that's a gift card pocket. You can fit that in there. Um, if you've got some earrings, handmade earrings, handmade jewellery, uh, you can pop that in there as well. So I'm going to show you how you can make one of those and also uh, the mini file tabs as well. So what you need to do first, you need to grab um, your pattern paper that measures 
12 inches by 6 inches. So again, you can get two um, file folders out of the one piece. So um, on the 12 inch side, firstly, decide what you want as your pattern to be in the front if you're using um, a double sided pattern paper or even a single sided paper. So I want to have this as my front. So then you have that facing down on your scoreboard. And then you're going to line it on the 12 inch side and you are going to score it at half an inch, score that down half an inch, and then one and a quarter of an inch, two inches, and then you will score it again at six and a quarter of an inch, seven inches, seven and three quarters of an inch, and then we're going to turn your paper around onto the six inch side and you're going to score it at four and a quarter of an inch and four and three quarters and five inches. All right, so that's all for the scoring. And then we're just going to make a few uh, cuts paper now I'm not too sure if you cut I'm going to turn the paper around only because um, you may not be able to see the score lines so what we're going to do is we are going to cut out this whole corner here at that score line up to that score line so um, we're going to cut along that score line and then we're going to cut up along there Going to take that little piece off and then we've got another score line along here we're going to cut that out up to that score line so we'll go ahead and do that just turn the paper around so and you can use your paper trimmer if you want to um, cut this out but I'm just going to use my scissors just to save a bit of time for the video. Okay, so what you'll have here is you'll have it looking like that. I'm just going to straighten that up because it's a little bit crooked. Right, so that's how you'll have your paper looking like. So you'll have a, um, I like it, that, that'll be the flap on the top. So what we're going to do next is on that part here where we scored at a half an inch, we're just going to just angle cut that out like that. So we'll just do that. I'm just going to turn the paper around because um, this is where I want the front and it's just easier for me to do it this way. So that half an inch score line that we've got there, we're going to fold that in fold that in and then we go to fold the next score line back and that next next score line we're going to fold that in All right, so that's how your um, folds will look like and then we've got these three score lines here we're going to fold the first score line in the middle score line back and that last score line in and hopefully that end of the paper should meet with that um, half an inch score line that we had done so that is how you'd want your um, paper to look like once it's all folded so that is that creates that little gusset all right so what we're going to do here um, if you have a corner rounder I'm just going to grab it if I can get mine. It's up to you. You don't have to corner around these corners. This That's for the flap here, which is there. Or you can use your decorative edge die if you want to give it a decorative edge. I'm just going to corner around the top part there. Alright, so what we'll do next is we're just going to 
put some glue along that flap there or use your double sided uh, tape whatever you prefer as you probably see me most of the time I'm always using my liquid glue I'm just going to get that so I'm just going to apply some liquid glue to the uh, half an inch flap and we'll bring that over and line it up and just glue that press that down so that should be um, already adhered and the next part we're just going to fold this part in half now when you want to fold that in half I'm just going to just press this down so we'll just fold that in half and that will create your accordion pockets so when you fold that in half, just make sure all of your papers line up. Sometimes your paper can be a little bit thick, so I tend to just use my bone folder to press down on that fold, just to make the fold nice and even. And we're just about done. So you'll have it like that. So this part here is optional. Now I have the middle pocket in here. I'll just take these out so you can see. So I have a middle pocket there. You don't have to have that if you don't want it. So if you want the middle pocket, you're just going to apply glue or your double sided tape. Preferably use your one eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch of a double sided tape. And you're just going to um, apply it to the edge there. If you don't want the pocket, you can just apply all the glue to the um, one side of the back. But um, I like having little cute little pockets as my insert. So just trying to get my glue to come out of my bottle. I didn't fill up my bottle, so uh, it might take a while. So I'm just going to apply a bit of glue just to one side there and then a little bit on to this side and I'm just going to bring them together and that should close up and create a middle pocket just going to take some of that out so that creates that middle pocket on the inside and that's all glued in there I'll just press that down and then with the uh, while we let that set you'll have those two score lines so just fold all those score lines again with this part here you don't this is another optional part with the um, flap if you don't have a, a memory we are memory keepers um, envelope punch board to create these tabs you can just have your a normal note cards without the um, tab and then you don't need to have those score lines and you can just fold that flat down but I like to have that to be able to create a bit of height there so you can add um, other goodies that are a little bit higher than your actual uh, pocket so that is all to it to your um, mini um, pocket accordion file folder and then I've got these velcro dots here and then you just stick one of those to the bottom there and um, that will keep your closure closed so now to create these um, file tabs with your punch board what we'll do is I just cut a piece of paper at uh, two and a half by three and three quarters and all you do is you just line it up wherever you like uh, let's just say you can have your tab let's make one we'll make one out of this this size here or we want the tab there so what you want to do is I'm just going to make sure you just want to have the edge of your paper lined up at the edge of the 
part where uh, the notch is, just along there. And we'll just press that down. And then we'll move that over, or it might be a little bit closer, but it doesn't matter. So we can just move that over to one and three quarter of an inch. And we can press that down. And then you'll have that. And we'll just grab some scissors and we'll just cut along here. And then we'll just turn that over and cut along this part here. And that creates your little file tab. And then that should just go in here. And, oh, sorry, we'll do this one. And that should go in here nicely. Just goes in there like that. And then, or in there, or even in your middle one. Just like that. So that is how you make. I've got glue all over the actual fold, and it's going to take them out. Just to get them out of there. So yeah, that's how you create your little mini file folders. So I do hope you enjoyed this fun, cute little tutorial making these little pockets. And um, I hope you give this a go because you can get two, like I said, you can get two of these projects out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper. So um, yeah, it's a fun little project. So that is my tutorial for this video and I do hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next time. Bye for now.